Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Stadium Show YouTube channel. Today I'm here in sunny Sheffield to explore the birthplace of football. Starting our tour is the Coach and Horses Stadium, which currently houses Sheffield FC, the world's first football club. I wouldn't be able to do this video if it wasn't for these guys. William Preston and Nathaniel Creswick formed the team in 1857 as a way to keep their cricket team fit in the winter. The club are pioneers of the game as we know it today, writing the first set of football rules to be published by a football club. Now that ground is in an area called Dronfield, but the club wants to move back into Sheffield. They've been considering many sites, and this piece of ground here, known as the transport ground, is the area that they have chosen. The new stadium would have a visitor centre and museum showcasing pieces not just from Sheffield but also all over the country and would cost approximately £10 million. It's going to be an all-seater with a 4,000 capacity but it should work and all go to plan, fingers crossed, as they've got a huge amount of space as you can see all around here. The second oldest team in the world and the winners of the world's first football trophy also play in Sheffield, the lesser known Hallam FC. They play here at Sandygate Road, which is the oldest football stadium in the world, built in 1804 for Hallam Cricket Club. The ground was moved into in 1860 by Hallam FC, which was the same year that they were formed. Moving on, this is Bromwell Lane, the home of championship side Sheffield United, also known as the Blades, due to the city's long history of cut remake. The ground has hosted many significant games, including the world's first flood pit game and the final of the world's first football tournament. It's also the oldest stadium in the world hosting professional football, being built all the way back in 1855. Now it's time for the third Sheffield Football Club. This time it's the Owls, Sheffield Wednesday. They play here at Hillsborough Stadium, which was built in 1899. Almost 40,000 people can fit in. As you probably expected, the club's main rivals are Sheffield United. When they play each other, it's called the Steel City Derby. Of course, Hillsborough Stadium is also the location of the tragic Hillsborough disaster in 1989 during an FA Cup game between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest, which was caused by overcrowding. 97 Liverpool fans have died due to the event. Where I am now is the Crucible Theatre. However, on this site used to stand the Adelphi Hotel, where many huge decisions that still impact football today were made. These include the formation of Sheffield Wednesday FC, the Sheffield FA, and it's the place where the first ever Sheffield rules were written in 1858. In 1866, Garrick FC were formed here at what used to be the Garrick Tavern. They were probably the world's first pub team with 400 members. They played games at Sheffield FC's old ground, East Bank. Now to end this video, I thought I'd take it back to where it all started, quite literally in 1857. Like I said, if it wasn't for Sheffield FC, I wouldn't be making these videos, you wouldn't be watching these videos, and we'd all be doing something else, probably spending our time much, much more wisely rather than following our clubs around every weekend. But I really hope you have enjoyed watching me tour around Sheffield, what I'd call the birthplace of football and the most historic place to go as a football fan, so I really do recommend visiting. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.